What's up, Flomies? This is Jesse Hart of Full Circle Phenomenal here on the Unite the World Firsthand Global Movement. If you'd like to support this project or perhaps get some private flow arts lessons of your own, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Unite the World Firsthand. Today, I'm representing the Sacred Flow Art Channel. Now this came from a comment by Sasha who was looking to get a good tutorial on Hyperloops. So I wanted to show you a Hyperloop today in pursuits of someday being able to achieve the infinite Hyperloop. So first thing is you'll need a set of poi. Now I recommend tethers with a little bit more friction or grip like these rope tethers that don't have ball swivels on them. Now I recommend not having ball swivels or slick tethers like these ones. These are great poi with ultra tethers and ball swivels on the ball handle grips. But I find that the muscle memory is even more difficult to absorb when you're not getting very much friction in between the tethers. That's a part of the tangle is starting to get familiar with the tethers interacting with each other. Prerequisites are going to be your four directions, particularly your forwards split time wall plane. We'll provide a link to that in the video description, as well as your full extension buzz saws. Uh, also a link to the buzz saw in the description. What's also going to be helpful is isolations. Link to that as well. And then optional is to practice the orbital. And this is a similar tether move. I learned it first. I'm not sure which one is going to be easier for you, but if you have trouble with this Hyperloop, you might go over and check out that tutorial as well, as it will get you more familiar with tangles. To begin, start in a split time forward wall plane and do what I call a no beat hyperloop. That's where you just let the tethers graze each other and then open up to the opposite side. Getting as close to the midpoint of the tether as you can and then opening up to the opposite side. The backhand hits on top and then is the first to open up. You're going to notice during the Hyperloop that the poi have the freedom to exit when you do an even amount of beats. So practicing the basic Hyperloop, you're going to bring them in between your arms, one, two, and then out. Bow the elbows out, one, two, and then out. Cross the planes, one, two, and they're out. One, two, and they're out. Now this is all you're essentially going to need to do in order to develop the muscle memory you need to do as many beats as you like. Just make sure you're getting used to counting your beats as that's what's going to be key in you learning when is it safe to release them and when if I turn to the opposite side is it going to actually get tangled. You'll need to move each poi as if they were in a buzzsaw uh, isolation. And eventually you can move up to four, but you're going to get tangles. Treat this as a practice in and of itself of how to release tangles without having to stop. And keep practicing. You're going to get some nasty tangles in there. So when you get too many and you're starting to get really frustrated, go ahead and let the poi down, take a breath and a break. And it doesn't matter how long you take a break for, pick them back up, figure out how to undo that tangle, and get right back into it. <laughs> There's a one, two, three, four, five, six beat hyperloop. Oh, good job, you, me, <laughs> and another one. And there you have it. Don't forget to take breaks, as everything in Florida is a muscle memory. 
It helps for you more to be able to clearly visualize yourself doing it calmly and relaxed and notice yourself when you start to get frustrated and tense because that's when your body's going to get injured, that's when your mind might get injured or start creating a memory of doing it poorly which is going to make it that much more difficult to get you to do it right. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them below and we'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to receive more tutorials on poi, rope dart, hula hoop, fans, staff, and plenty more props into the future. There's no limit to how far we're going to take this. Thanks for watching. So speaking of tangles, I got the mic all nice and tangled up during the recording of that video. So another thing, if you'd like to help out, let me know how you wrap up your cords so that you can easily undo them, because I've yet to find a good technique. Thanks.